today. Uh, we'll start with questions for Cedric Tillman. Please hit the raise your hand function and we will call on you. We'll start with Ben McKee and then we'll go to Nicholas Hill. Yes, yeah, Cedric, hope you're doing well. Just what have been your early impressions of uh, Cody Burns as your, your new wide receiver coach? Uh, so my only impression on Coach Burns is, you know, he came to Tennessee, you know, and he's definitely trying to change, you know, the perspective of the receivers, you know. You know, he's real focused on the little details, and that's all he preaches and preaches and preaches is the details and the details on things. So we may say, hey, we're going vertical, but he's like, no, we say the word straight. So, you know, Coach is a good coach. Uh, he, he holds the receivers accountable, and he knows what he's doing. And I think if we all follow him, he's going to lead us to the promised land. Cedric, to ask, you're adjusting to this new offense. The products are adjusting to this new offense. Hey, where do you feel like you're at in that process? And just how has it been like adjusting to this new offense? Obviously, you're playing a lot faster, a lot more spread out. Just what is this new offense like for you? Man, this new offense is something different for sure. You know, I've been Coach Cheney's offense, you know, for the last two years, the offense before that. And they were kind of similar, but this offense is real different. But, you know, I'm excited for it. I'm adjusting well, I believe. You know, we're still trying to get the details, me and my teammates. But I feel like we're putting things together and we're just taking it one day at a time. So I'm excited for the new offense. I think it's going to be electric this year. And I think we're all looking forward to it. David Oven and Patrick Brown. Oh, uh, yeah, Cedric, how are you learning this offense? Um, you know, what does that look like in terms of knowing what you? The way I've been learning this offense, man, is just getting reps. You know, it's easy to look at a pen and paper, but obviously at the end of the day, you got to go out there and you got to get reps. So after practice, before practice, you know, I try to look at uh, not only the actual copies of the paper, but I try to go downstairs, walk through it. And, uh, you know, I bring some of my teammates with me and we just try to uh, get those reps in because, the more you do the reps, the more you memorize it. So that's, a, that's how I'm learning the offense. Hey, Cedric, I think something Coach Burns talked about uh, with yes, yes, yesterday after practice was, I think he called it ball mechanics and, and how you guys give the ball to, to the officials after a play. How much time have you guys spent on that? And just kind of how boring is that to for you guys to think about after you make a catch, all right, I got to find the right official so they can get the ball spotted, we can run the next play faster. Um, it's not boring at all. You know, this is their expectations and that's what we're going to do. You know, once again, like Coach Burns says, we listen to them. They know what they're doing. We're going to go to where we want to go. So that's what they want us to do. Then we're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't look at it as boring or needy. You know, it's definitely different. I'm not going to lie to you, but it's what the coaches expect. So we're going to do it. Have you had any moments in practice where you've, you've not done it right and, and kind of they've gotten on to you for not, not, not doing what you're supposed to? Oh, yes, for sure. You know, like I said, I'm just so used to doing certain things one way. So these first couple of practices, we're just trying to get used to the new system and their new expectations. But uh, by next week, I think we'll all be under, we'll be on the same page. Brent, then Kelly. Yes, yeah, Cedric, you, you mentioned this is your third offense that, that you've learned at, at Tennessee. Do you, do you find this offense easy to 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 pick up is it more difficult is it you learn more by concepts is it more memorization how is learning this offense uh, from a difficulty standpoint compared to learning coach Cheney's offense or coach Helton's offense when you first got here man so like I said uh, it was tough at first I'm not gonna lie because once again it was so different from anything I've been any type of offense I've been in. But overall, man, I'm really starting to get used to it. I feel like my teammates are starting to get used to it. And once again, at the end of the day, it's just about getting reps, you know. It's, it's not necessarily hard because I feel like I put the work in to learn the plays and to practice them. So, you know, there's little things that me and my teammates need to fix. But like I said, we're going to get that. Uh, we're going to get get it all together. and We're going to be okay. Maybe the better maybe the better way to ask this is what's the hardest part about learning this offense? The hardest part? Hardest part about learning this offense is, man, 
I don't know, probably just the different splits that we have to do. You know, we're going to be playing a little bit wider this year than usual. So probably just uh, the alignment. You know, we're going to have different alignments than usual and probably just different signals. Once again, I was on a change offense for two years and I'm so used to certain signals. Now I'm getting a whole different type of signals. So probably the signals and alignment is probably the toughest. It's been the toughest challenge so far. Hey, Cedric, the phrase um, being a wide, this is a, this offense is going to be a wide receiver's dream has been thrown around a few times. Uh, do you personally feel that way? And how long do you think it'll take you personally to learn this new install? A wide receiver's dream? Yeah, most definitely. If you look at what Coach Heupel and Coach Golish have done, you know, at UCF and everywhere, everywhere else, it's been, it's it's been a receiver's dream. You know, the receivers and offices have put up big numbers. So the expectations here at Tennessee, you know, it's no, it's no shocker that our offense wasn't the best last year. So those guys are trying to come in here and change it. And I feel like we got the guys, we got the right unit. We got the determination to change it. And, you know, that's what we plan on doing. Like we're going to, it's a receiver's dream. Once again, uh, we plan on getting a lot of passing yards this year. Coach Hypo and Coach Golish are putting a lot of, uh, expectations on the receivers, but I feel like we're ultimately going to live up to it. You know, Coach Burns preaches on the details once again, preaches on the details, preaches on doing things the right way. And once again, as long as we do the little things and do things the right way, I think y'all going to see a big change this year. Austin Price, then Gustavo. He said, uh, and talking to some people, you know, affiliated with last year's team uh, and, and last year's coaching staff, they, they talked about how much verbiage there was in the offense and that, that it was really probably too much verbiage and, and really tough to learn in that aspect. How would you compare the two? Would you, would you say that there's less verbiage as far as, you know, learning, you know, what, a play, what the play call is this, in this current offense versus last year? Um. To be honest, once like I'm so focused on this offense, I'm really starting to forget some of the old offense. So I, you know, I really, to be honest with you, I really didn't have a problem with the verbiage last year's offense. I can't speak for my other teammates, but I feel like it's probably the same. I feel like it's the same. Cedric, how's the feeling to you know put beyond full pads uh, practice yesterday, beyond the field, you know, practice with your teammates on full pads? How's the feeling to be back on practice on full pads yesterday? It felt great, man. We haven't been, you know, fully practiced, uh, fully padded since the A&M game. So to be back out there, this is a redemption year. You know, we didn't have the year we wanted last year. So to put those pads on, it felt like we really got back into the uh, swing of things. And we was all excited, you know, doing a ball drill, you know, once again, getting that hidden action um, thing we're excited for. And it just felt great. You know, now it's time to continue that the rest of spring ball. Eric Kane and Trey Wallace. Hey Cedric, I know it's I know it's early. You guys have only had three practices out there, two inside, one outside. Um, but nonetheless, how do you think from your from your standpoint how the quarterbacks have uh, kind of started learning this this new system? How do you think they've adapted so far early on? Yeah, I'm very proud of the quarterbacks. Like I said, they're they're getting a lot thrown at them, just like everybody else. But you know, being a quarterback, you got to be the captain and the leader of the team. You got to know what everybody got to do. So I think. You know, quarterback one, two, three, four, and et cetera, are all doing an amazing job, you know, knowing what to do and, you know, throwing good balls and knowing the little details. I think they're all doing an amazing job, to be honest with you. Hey, Sid, what's what's the biggest area that maybe you've grown since the last game of, of last season, winter workouts, getting up to now? What are some things that, that you wanted to get better at and maybe you've accomplished over the last three to four months? Right, so... Well, to be honest, me and Coach Burns, you know, we've been really practicing on me getting out of my breaks better, uh, me bringing my offhand, you know, just a little route running techniques. Uh, I feel like my hands are, you know, one of the best in the country, you know, so just cleaning up my little things like getting off the release, uh, coming back to the ball. Those are little things that Coach Burns has been preaching and I'm taking his advice and I'm just trying to get better every day. Rob Lewis and David Upman. Cedric, just how big of an adjustment is is it to play at the moment and the tempo that they want to? I mean, is it you know radic radical or or not maybe as much as, as we're making it out to be? So at first, when we first started doing it, when we was just in shorts and t-shirts, I, I could definitely tell the difference. But 
once again, we've kind of been doing this for a little minute now, and I'm starting to get to swing of things. And I can definitely tell the difference between practice one, two, and three. So once again, it's not it's not 100% right now where we want it to be, but next week, two weeks from now to the spring game, I think you guys will definitely see uh, the fast-paced tempo that Coach Hypo and all the other coaches have been preaching what we're going to do. Uh, Cedric, the offensive coaches, Coach Burns, Coach Golish, um, uh, Coach Hypo, what are the things that, that, that they're really emphasizing with you guys early in practice, sort of the, uh, I guess, the, the things that you're hearing from them most this first few practices? Effort. Effort, alignments, toughness, and smart. You know, Coach Hypo calls it eats. And that's what he preaches, you know, it's, it's funny because, you know, I caught a 40 yard ball the other day and I'm excited I'm getting up, you know, the first thing Coach Burns told me is, hey, you threw the ball to the wrong guy, you're supposed to give it to the, this guy. And I was like, oh, man, you know, so it's just the details, you know, yeah, you know, they're, they're going to get excited. This is a fun, you know, fun coaching staff, fun everything. But at the end of the day, it's the little things and the details. That's what Coach Hypo keeps preaching on. And we're going to hold people accountable. You know, Coach Hypo says that every day we're going to hold people accountable on and off the field. So small details and holding people accountable, I can definitely say is what the, the, all the coaches have been preaching nonstop. Thanks, Cedric, for your time. Appreciate you guys. Thank you.